In our college football game of the week, one would have thought it preposterous that plays on defense would decide this ball game, especially after the first 25 minutes of this contest. But that's exactly what happened. West Virginia with three interceptions in the ball game, two of those coming in the final five minutes of the contest. The Mountaineers with a 35-32 win over the BYU Cougars in a non-conference clash in a special home game for the West Virginia Mountaineers here at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Now, I mentioned the very beginning of the ball game. Each of the first five possessions, either BYU or West Virginia, was able to move the ball into opponent's territory. Now, late in the second quarter, the Mountaineers holding on to a 14-10 lead, and they had their first of their three big defensive plays in West Virginia territory. BYU quarterback Taysom Hill threw an interception to defensive back Rasul Douglas, and he ran down this sideline to that end zone to give West Virginia a 21 to 10 lead late in the second quarter. The Mountaineers were able to extend that lead to 16 points early in the fourth quarter, but the Cougars did not quit. They scored two touchdowns in a span of three minutes and 25 seconds midway through the fourth quarter to cut West Virginia's lead to three at 35 32. And then the two interceptions in the final five minutes for the West Virginia Mountaineers, one by safety Jeremy Tyler. And then after West Virginia turned over the ball inside of BYU's five-yard line with a chance to salt the game away. The Mountaineers with their final big defensive play was cornerback Maurice Fleming with an interception off a tip ball at the goal line to preserve West Virginia's 35-32 win, that interception coming with under a minute to go in the contest. And after the game, I got a chance to talk with Rasul Douglas, who had that 56-yard pick six. And I asked him to begin our conversation, given the zany finishes that BYU has been involved in in the past couple of years, did he expect a wild and crazy finish here this evening? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, we watched them play three games, and all three games came down to the last drive where they can win or they can lose. And they were a tough team, a, a great team. They played, made plays. So I definitely knew it was going to be a tough physical game. Um, what did you see on the play in which you got the interception? What allowed you to put yourself in position to make that pick and then return it? Uh, I seen uh, the receiver go to the flats, and I backed up a little bit just to give the quarterback enough to say, okay, I'm going to throw this route because he's behind. And then as soon as he let the ball go, I just ran. Yeah. Uh, how do you, as a defense, readjust? You're almost there winning the game then your offense turns over the ball late in the game how does the defense and yourself readjust having to go back out there and clinch the game again uh coach gibby just said let's go this is wh what we want if it's going to be on any group let it be on a defense like we pride ourselves in defense so he said why not be on us so we just figured like we will get the stop yeah, playing in the, playing in the nfl field was fun right very fun. Amazing. Blessed, man. Blessed. So the West Virginia Mountaineers 3-0 and on the year. Their quarterback, Skylar Howard, a pretty good game. 31 of 40, 332 yards. He had a touchdown pass. He, okay, scratch. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the West Virginia Mountaineers now move to 3-0 and in the season. Their quarterback, Skylar Howard, had a pretty good game. 31 of 40, 332 yards. He threw a touchdown pass, also threw an interception in the first half. For the BYU Cougars, another tough loss. They're now 1-3 on the season. Their three losses coming by a combined seven points. But despite the loss, their senior running back, Jamal Williams, had himself a whale of a game. 24 carries, 169 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. But once again, the Cougars coming up just short. 35-32, West Virginia coming away with the victory. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com. We will also have our Ivy League game of the week up on our site. Lauren Fody was in the Bronx in New York City where the Fordham Rams held serve at home and defeated the co-champions of the Ivy League from last year, the Penn Quakers. It was Fordham over Penn by a score of 31 to 17. So once again, in our college football game of the week, the West Virginia Mountain Mountaineers 35 and the BYU Cougars 32. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, my name is Adesina Koike for a lot of sportstalk.com.